Hello everyone. In this video I am going to show you how to create a child account in Windows 10, and how to blocking mature inappropriate web content, how to set screen time limits and schedules, and how to selecting appropriate applications, games, and media. All parental controls are set for the child account by the parent account. Please follow the steps. Step 1. Tap the Windows icon. Step 2. Select Settings. Step 3. Click on Accounts. Step 4. Select Family and Other People from the left-hand menu. Step 5. Click on Add a Family Member. Step 6. If your child already have a Microsoft account then type an email here, authorize click on create one for a child. Step 7. Create your child's email address, or one you create for this purpose. Step 8. Create a password. Uncheck all boxes before continuing, to minimize junk mail and click next. Write down the password you choose for them and keep it safe, in case you need to modify their account settings later. Step 9. Enter child's name and surname. Here you don't have to enter exact name. Then click next. Step 10. Fill in child's birth informations. Then click next. Microsoft will then prompt you to sign into your own account. Here, I advise you to close this login window. Step 11. In family and other users window you can see that we successfully create new child account. To manage child account settings click on Manage Family Settings Online, this will open Microsoft Online page. Step 12. To manage your child's account you'll have to sign in with your own Microsoft account. Click on Already Set Up. Sign in now. Once you are logged in you can see and control all accounts connected to your family. There's a fair chance that the default Windows Family Safety Controls are already turned on for your child's account, but it's good practice to verify if they meet your needs. To get you started, let's take a look at the most important control areas. Under the account name of the kid, click the activity tab. And then turn on the activity reporting toggle switch to start collecting activities from their Windows 10 devices. If you can't stay on top of the daily activities, you can also turn on the email weekly reports to me toggle switch to get a full report delivered to your email account. Once the option is enabled, you can see the websites they've been visiting, the apps and games they've been downloading and playing, and the time they've been spending on their devices. In the Screen Time tab page, you can enforce limits on the hours and days of the week the child can use their Windows 10 device. Using the parental controls, you can set two types of schedules to limit screen time. Under the Device Limit section, you can turn on the toggle switch to use one schedule for all devices, including PC and Game Console. Under the Time Limit column, use the drop-down menu and select the number of hours that the family member is allowed to use in a given day. Using this option, you can also set the allowance to all day or block the day entirely. After specifying the hours that the child can use the device, click the hours timeline on the right and define the time of the day that the new member is permitted to use time allowance. For instance, you can enforce 2 hours of computing time a day, which the kid can use between 11 am and 2 pm. On the same page, you can also add and remove multiple schedules as needed. After configuring the screen time, click the save button to apply the changes. Inside the App and Game Limits tab, similar to the device screen time settings, you can enforce screen time limits for apps and games to promote a healthier and safer lifestyle for young members. To start using this feature, turn on the App and Game Limits toggle switch. Then select the app or game you want to set screen limits and turn on the toggle switch on the right side to enable restrictions. While in the app settings, click on the weekdays or weekends tab and use the slider to set the amount of time the member can use the app. Also, use the allow from option to specify the time of the day that the member can use the time. For example, you can enforce hours of film and TV time a day, which the child can use between 2pm and 6pm. The Content Restrictions tab includes settings that allow you to set an age limit to restrict inappropriate apps and games. To enforce age restrictions, simply use the Allow Apps and Games Rated for drop-down menu to specify the age restriction, for example, 7-year-old. To start filtering online content not suited for young people, turn off the Block Inappropriate Websites toggle switch. 
Under the Always Allowed section, you can add the websites that a child can visit manually. Simply specify the link in the box, and click the plus button, and repeat the steps to add more sites. Similar to the process to allow websites, you can use the Always Block section to add the links for the sites that you want to restrict. It's also possible to check the Only Allow These Websites option to explicitly set this list as the only websites a child can load in the web browser, while blocking everything else. It's worth noting that if you want to use web filtering, inappropriate searches will be more effective using Microsoft Edge and Bing as the default search engine. If you want to restrict your child from using another search engine, which may not have safe search enabled, it's a good idea to add those sites to the block list, including Google.com, Yahoo.com and others. Also, because this feature only works with Microsoft Edge, enabling web browsing will block other browsers, such as Chrome or Firefox, to help to keep your kids safer when surfing the internet. However, if you want to allow the use of another browser, you can unblock them from the apps, games and media section, under Always Blocked. If you find this video helpful, please drop a like button. This helps YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching. Tech Spider.